out and all oh my god it's been a minute it's been a minute happy new year merry christmas all of it i hope you guys are doing well oh, i just want to explain why it's been uh, a month almost two months since i posted a video on youtube and so basically what had happened i think the last time i vlogged was in november i think i think in november and basically i was actually vlogging throughout the month of december i had a whole christmas vlog i had a new year's vlog i vlogged everything so my break was pretty eventful but um after a while it was the month of january just the day after just the day after new year's i decided that i would actually just take a break uh just for a little bit off of social media to just get my head back in the game for the year you know to get um my intentions for the year together and the things that I want to accomplish and everything. So I just needed some time off just to figure out what I wanted to do for the year. And finally, I have uh, kind of an idea of what I want to do this year. Now I'm back here, I'm vlogging. Um, it's still gonna be monthly vlog. Other than that, I'm good. Happy New Year, 2022. It seems like it's going to be a very good year. 2021 was quite the year. I've learned a lot, but I've also grown a lot and I'm so ready to be learning a lot this year and growing some more this year and healing some more as well this year and so i'm very excited for the year and i hope that you guys feel the same way for the year there are a couple things that i have on the list for the weekend so finally i have a three-day event going on at my church that i'm really going that i'm going to be filming as well we'll be at church for three days tonight saturday and sunday and so i'll be at church pretty much every uh like each evening on well i'll be at church in the evening today in the evening tomorrow and in the afternoon on sunday and it's just going to be a very very good weekend um i also have a couple of readings to complete but i'm going to be doing that i took a break today i'm going to be doing that in the morning tomorrow and then in the morning on sunday as well just to stay caught up with school because i don't want anything accumulating it's midterms i think midterms start in two weeks yeah in two weeks and so i just want to finish all of the assignments that i have before midterms so i'm not here like <laughs> like um cramming things up together it's it's stressful to cram things up so yeah anyways it's 3 p.m um we're leaving the house around 4 45 i have an hour and 45 minutes to get ready so my hair is done um, my hair is done. I just have to do my makeup and figure out an outfit to wear. Although we're wearing t-shirts, like there's a there's a de designated t-shirt that we have to wear. I'm just I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to style it, <laughs> it which is not going to be difficult. It's just going to be jeans with a blazer probably. And so I'm going to take you guys with me. Makeup uh, will be very nice, uh, a soft glam hopefully, and um, the outfit will be casual, uh, chic. And then we'll go to church together. You know what? I'm loving the way that it's turning out. It's looking pretty neutral. Maybe it's different on camera, but the way it looks like off of camera in my mirror, it's really giving what it's supposed to give. Especially with the sun, it's helping me to see like what spots I'm missing and everything. I'm no makeup guru, but I'm sure I, I, I could say that I know how to at least do a neutral makeup look. That's what matters the most, honestly. And I'm satisfied with that, with how it's looking like so far. <laughs> Amen. 
Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. Um, happy Saturday. It's the second day of the inauguration. It's a three-day event. I had quite the morning. I ended up waking up at 8 a.m., not even 7.45, because I needed to finish an assignment. And I finished it, and I got a good grade. It was actually a quiz. I had to read, and then um, I submitted it, and it was great. And then I ended up cleaning the house, eating breakfast. And then um, now I just finished my makeup. I will be changing my shirt. So I'm feeling good today. I'm excited for what God's gonna do. And um, it's going to be a good day. It's not that cold today and the snow has been cleared off of the roads. So it's going to be a good drive there. Let's go. Shelter and comfort here. Let this place. For appeler la place de prière. Yes, we call the house of prayer. Que des gens assoiffés viennent en ce lieu. What? If it's just to go to the back of the vehicle permit, oh, okay. No, Cindy, you put it in the front. Okay, but on there it says back. So. Yes, so pourquoi est-ce que tu as encore vérifié? If you know it goes out the back. I didn't know! Yes, you did! Josh is peeking at the door and it's very stressful. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who's there? Okay, let me. <laughs> so it's 11 30 p.m. We just got home from church, as you saw in the previous clips in the car with my sister who's trying to figure out her validation tickets for her car sticker. and Trini oh stickers oh this is a ticket for a car <laughs> that's not how I talk oh no I know and then Trini you guys haven't met her before but welcome to my channel Trini hey guys oh okay I think you're going to say something else but um no no that's it you have the oh I've been on camera this whole time yeah, I've, I've been trying to speak. Because I've had habitude, like, when we get out the car, you guys never wait for me. I always wait for you guys. I've been observing you guys for a, a Actually, couple of months now. Actually, this morning, you That's creepy. Left. You've been I've observing been us? observing you guys for a couple of months now. That's creepy. So when I put my sticker on my plate, I need you guys to wait for me. Because what if I got kidnapped? What? Des fois, vous entrez, dans la, vous entrez dans la maison. Parce que without even, even checking. Yeah, okay. Anyways, let's go inside the house. Happy Sunday. Good morning, family. Happy Monday. I am in downtown Toronto right now, um, running a couple of errands. I'm sitting in the car and in a parking lot. I was just answering some messages. Just wanted to say good morning. You know what? It's very difficult to find parking in Toronto, but thankfully I found something. And so now um, I'm gonna be going home back home soon. It's been a quite an early morning. I'm gonna go, go home. Ugh. I'm gonna go home soon because I have class today from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And I have two chapters to catch up on for that class. Um, I've had the busiest weekend, as you guys saw. I'm so tired and I'm still catching up. But the weekend was so amazing. I was blessed and I'm really ready to start off this new week. And so, yeah, good morning, and let's get this day started. Not focusing on what you lack, but focus on the things that God has placed right in front of you. When we are so focused on what we don't have, we actually miss out on the things, the key things that God wants to show us in the season that we're in. But I actually want to tell you that you are right where you're supposed to be. You have everything that you need right now. God has equipped you with everything that you need for this season. I actually just want to encourage you, stop focusing on what you don't have. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop focusing on the fact that someone has something that you don't. But instead, use what God has placed inside of you and use that for his glory. He's equipped. Okay, y'all, I just got home. I had so many errands to run. I just got home. I think it's 2, it's 2.34 p.m. I just made some food, avocado toast. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> Toast, avocado, egg, um, Frank's Red Hot. Uh, I already put salt in the egg, so all I added on top was garlic and pepper. And then I passed by McDonald's on the way home to 
get myself a McDonald's coffee and I was cleaning and I'm not even done cleaning. I'm gonna clean my room and then I'm gonna start reading. I have two chapters to read and then at 6 p.m. I have to go to class. Well, it's, it's online, um, but I wanna at least finish these chapters so I can engage in our discussion tonight. Um, it also counts for points. So your girl is always trying to participate in class because I'm trying to get as many points as possible. Anyways, let's eat. Mm -mm -mm. So here's what they do with the notes. So it was a beautiful move. A lawyer looked at those notes and said, so the detective. I love me. I'm just trying to open up the um, kind of sauce. What's it called? Yeah. For my meat. Wait, guys. Mais même avec les 15, les 30 francs que je, que je soulève, ça ne marche pas. Ça ne fonctionne pas. I'm five months postpartum, so my muscles... <laughs> my muscles are not as developed as they were. I am so tired. See? T'as même mis l'eau chaude. Yeah, it's not functioning. Um, you, have, you need to bring this back to the factory. It's a default <laughs> to its manufacturer. Bon, j'ai. Um, I'm gonna have to add subtitles to this vlog because most of it is me speaking in French. I'm gonna have to add. Um, like, I boiled some hot water. Okay, let's do this. Ah! It opened. It's Yay! Finally. Finally. Smells good. Let's do this. That's what it looks like for now. And I'm gonna show you the finishing product. So as a seasoning, I added some garlic paste, all for the seasoning, um, it's called Vegeta. And then I added some nutmeg. Um, I'm just gonna taste the, um, the sauce a little bit, just to taste the salt. The all-purpose seasoning does have salt in it, so that's why I'm not adding salt, but I actually just wanna make sure that there is enough salt in this sauce. If not, I'll just add a little bit of sauce, but if there is, I think there should be, and I'll just leave it as this. But it looks good. It looks really good. Long story short, my car is stuck on ice, and I'm at the grocery store, and I'm trying to get someone to come help me push my car out the drive, the parking area. I'm kind of embarrassed, but you know what? There's a story behind this that I'm going to explain after. Do this. Oh my god. I hope I don't ruin my tires. Oh my god, Lord, please. I don't like <laughs> help me. So he helped me. Um, I don't know if I got the footage of him of him talking to me. I'm gonna have to look back at this video. But this is <laughs> oh my god, this was <laughs> but it's okay, like I'm not gonna beat myself up because I made a small mistake but I just thought it was just so funny like <laughs> ah! okay well off. I'm gonna go home now it's five minutes away um I'm just gonna check my tires to see um if they're okay I glory to god I'm so happy I got out I didn't think this was gonna be possible just the way that my car was moving just the way that the car was moving um I didn't know it would be possible but <laughs> it's possible to those who believe. Anyways, see you guys at home and I'm going to explain um, the story behind why I'm deciding to not be so hard on myself because of a mistake that I made. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Um, it's Monday, February 14th and I'm currently preparing for my midterms. I went on Wednesday and one on Friday. But there are so many things that I've learned today and so many things that I actually wrote in my journal um, that I want to share with you guys for today. But first of all, let me explain what took place in the previous clips because it was a hot mess. So basically what had happened was I went to Metro, like I was, I was doing my notes and studying and I was craving some chips and salsa. 
um i don't know it was just a weird craving that i had today so i was like okay let me go to metro maybe get some chips and salsa as a midday snack and so i went and i decided to park right bef right beside where the cart the cart house is where they put the carts inside so i was like i parked there and i saw that there was ice but i didn't think that it would be so impactful on the tires of the cart so i parked then i went and i was excited and i bought my chips and salsa and then i ended up paying and i left and then i went inside the car i turned it on put it on the reverse and as I, soon as i pressed on the gas the car was not moving so finally when the car wasn't moving i was really embarrassed and i was like oh my goodness like why did i do this and i was like no 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 so this is actually a really funny situation but at the same time it's pretty serious because my car is stuck and it can impact my tires it can impact the car, the car itself and so i was like you know what let me not force it too much let me go ask for help um inside i wanted to ask um just the, the person beside me but i was like it's covid and people are really afraid right now um, so I was like, okay, let me not risk it. Let me go inside and ask a worker. So I went to the customer service and I asked the young girl and I was like, girl, this is a little bit embarrassing, but let me tell you what just happened. So I parked the car and there's ice on my tire and I'm trying to reverse and my car is not moving. And she's there like, oh my God, <laughs> it's okay. Let me actually call my manager and he's going to come and help you. So then the manager comes and he's like, okay, hey, what happened? And I told him the story and he's like, oh, okay. So you know what let me go get my coat and i'm gonna come help you and i was like oh wow he's so nice so the guy came and came outside and he helped me but it was very difficult for him um with his shoes especially because of the ice so what he did he came at the window and he said okay ma'am so because it's really hard for me to push your car out of this rut out of this ice i'm gonna go inside get a bucket of salt and i'm just gonna put it around your car and your tires and then that'll just melt the ice and then i'll just push your car out of the parking spot and i said okay and then yeah he just went and he got the ice and then he put the ice on the floor and it melted no sorry he got the salt and he put the salt on the floor and finally it melted it melted the ice and i was able to smoothly just get out of the parking spot and yeah that's how i'm home right now and i was i was really afraid because i was like oh my god i'm gonna sit here for a couple hours um i can't do this on my own so i must ask for help and secondly i can't really be hard on myself because we all make mistakes in this world you know we're not perfect um and so i asked for help and it happened and now i'm home safely i checked the tires they look beautiful they still look very good the car was driving nicely so i was really grateful Good morning guys, it's 8.16 a.m. I'm awake, I'm up, it's Tuesday, and I'm going to the gym. Uh, a shirt, Calvin, come on. I'm wearing shorts underneath, sweatpants because it's cold. I'm just heating up the car, and I'm gonna go to the gym and come back. this has been a minute since i vlogged i think it's because my routine has been the same um for the past couple months no sorry for the past month my routine my routine has been the same and you know it gets quite, quite kind of like boring to vlog the same routine every single day so i kind of took a break but now that the things uh here where i'm living um are opening up now um, things are gonna become more fun, but more, but but these things are gonna be filmed more so in the next vlog. I'm about to go to the gym, and I'm just gonna come back and film the rest of my day. And I think this weekend, I'm going to have. It's not gonna be eventful, but it's going to be productive. So I'll just vlog um, just this week, and then I'm gonna end the vlog, and then um, start vlogging for the month of April, because this this vlog is kind of like the month of February and some of March. So it's going to be for the month of April, uh, for, the, for the end of the month of March and the month of April. So yeah, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying this vlog. 
comprenez-moi, I'm gonna put subtitles, comprenez-moi, euh, on était en confinement et la routine, euh, le fait que se répétait à tout moment. Mais euh, bon, ça va aller et puisque les vacances vont bientôt commencer, euh, les choses vont commencer à bouger, donc ça va aller. I'm late to class, oh my god. I just got home from class and my class was basically a fitness course so I could not film the actual workout but it was a like it wasn't a mess but it was hardcore but today was very hard <clears throat> it's been a minute since I've been to my fitness class because we've been in quarantine or we've been on lockdown and so it's been a minute so but it was still good we got through the workout and now I'm back home but there's one thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about um something that I was thinking about while talking to my classmates today and I was actually I actually wanted to um relate that to a podcast that i was listening to when i was finishing my assignment yesterday so basically yesterday i was listening to a podcast and it was about friendships and i was like a lot of the reasons why um well it was basically saying that a lot of the reasons why we can't seem to make new friends or sometimes like the the reason why we always complain to ourselves that oh i don't have new friends no one wants to talk to me no one wants to have wants to be friends with me is i think that most of the time is because we don't make the effort to include ourselves um in different conversations sometimes we find ourselves in like a circle of people of five ten people and everyone is just talking about like you know we could be talking about a certain subject and you're the only one just sitting there you know listening to the conversation instead of actually incorporating your thoughts or including sorry your thoughts in what is being talked about in um you know in the group that you're in and so today um, I hope I'm making sense already, but usually for me, when I'm around people, I tend to be, and especially people that I don't really know, I tend to be very shy and I tend to be afraid of just like expressing myself because sometimes in moments like these, you just feel like, oh, like, are my opinions going to be heard? But I just feel like in moments like these, like it's worth a shot to just, you know, speak about your point of views about certain subjects that are being talked about. And that's how you can cultivate friendships, you know? Um yeah that's how you can cultivate friendships and i decided that i would just get out of my comfort zone because it's been three years i'm graduating university very soon and up to this time i know that we've been quarantined and everything but there are certain opportunities where i go to class there are certain times where i go to class there are certain times where i have to interact with classmates and you know it's been three years and up to this day i haven't really cultivated like a good like you know classmate friendship if that makes sense or a good connection in school and you know I, I was thinking about it and I was like it's kind of not normal like all of these years um like I, you're not obligated to have a lot of friends but I think it's good to just be open to have conversations with people that's how you connect that's how you, you that's how you connect that's how you build friendships you can't just sit there and expect people to come to you all the time sometimes it's like it's required for you to make that move if you want new friends like you're spending your time complaining about the fact that you don't have friends but have you made um have you taken that initiative to you know make the first move prend, prend le premier pas, you know have you made um that have you taken that initiative to um talk about you know your thoughts on a certain subject that people may be talking about like have you made that effort and so this is something that I really checked that really checked me yesterday when I was listening to the podcast. I was like, yeah, like in a lot of situations, I have not taken I haven't taken the initiative to, you know, cultivate friendships through the different debates or through the different discussions that we may have, especially when we're in big groups or in class or let's say at different events. I haven't taken that initiative to actually like speak or to try and discuss certain subjects with people and today i did that and you know um i i wouldn't say that they're all now my friends now but i would say that i now feel more comfortable being around people because clip i said like i always had that fear that people won't be i always had that fear that i wouldn't be heard in a certain group of people and you know what like you just have to get to a point where you're like you know what if people aren't accepting me for who i am um, if people aren't hearing me, if people aren't understanding or acknowledging what I'm trying to share, especially in the moment where we're discussing or having like casual debates, that's okay. It doesn't define who you are. It doesn't define that. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that everything you are saying doesn't make sense. 
maybe it just it just means that maybe you're not you're not meant to be friends with the people that you're trying to cultivate friendships with thank you next go on to the next thing i think that we should work on trying to initiate friendships like it's everything can't just always come to us sometimes we always have to make the move take the first step and i think that's a word for every area of our lives like don't, don't sit there thinking that okay well she has to come to me i want to be friends but she has to come to me no make the first move sometimes it's okay to make the first move i don't think that you should let the fear of abandonment or the fear of rejection to determine the way that you initiate conversations or determine the way that you try to interact with people like believe in yourself enough love yourself enough to know that even if someone doesn't accept me for who i am even through having discussions and debates it doesn't define who i am it doesn't mean that i don't make sense it doesn't mean that i'm worthy that i'm not worthy of friendships it doesn't mean that i'm not worthy of love but it means that i could just accept it for what it is move on and find other people that i could vibe with good morning happy saturday oh goodness gracious i am tired it's 11 a.m i think um my arm is really tired as well um yesterday was watch night at church so we had like an overnight prayer from 10 p.m to 2 30 a.m and i got home around uh four i got home around 3 4 3 45 ish 3 50 and um i went to bed around 4 30 a.m almost 5 a.m and i woke up at 10 so i got like five hours of sleep thankfully i'm just home today yeah that's the case i'm really trying to think right now it's really hard to think but i'm on the way to costco and i will be buying a couple groceries for the house i think i'm also going to pick up a coffee um on the way uh just to wake up a little bit i haven't had my coffee this morning so i'm gonna have one today but yeah that's the case i hope you guys are doing well and i said that i would be ending the vlog today so i'm going to film every part of my day from the groceries as well i just want to take this day to myself yesterday i finished all the assignments that i needed to do um usually i do these assignments over the weekend but i figured i would finish them yesterday so that i could just have this the, the weekend to myself and not worry about a thing So I got the essentials at, I was gonna say Marshalls, at Costco. I'm about to grab some gas. Um, did you guys notice that gas is getting really expensive nowadays? I think they're reaching now. Um, I think it's getting to the point where it's gonna be $2, um, I think per liter or something like that, something like that. And it's, it's really expensive. But at Costco, at other, when I was driving here, um, it's $2 almost. But here at Costco, it's one sixty nine, so I guess it's less expensive than all the other places. And the lines are so long. I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm about to just drive off. Anyway, let's do this. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how busy it is. Like, there's hundreds of cars waiting to get gas because it's cheaper here. Actually, um, hopefully, it stays the same. But at all the other gas stations, they're all they're almost at the two dollar mark, and I don't know. It's just crazy how gas used to be so like cheap in the past. Especially, um, let me just turn the camera towards me. <laughs> especially during the quarantine, like gas was very cheap, and of course there was no like reason for us to go get gas. But sometimes I look back and I'm like, we should have just taken advantage of that time where gas was pretty much affordable and so cheap but now it's like two dollars and i was talking to one of my co-workers the other day when i was at work and she was like yeah the gas is like her gas tank is pretty much almost a hundred dollars like on the day-to-day -day basis but now it's going to be over a hundred because the prices are increasing so it's just crazy how the world is moving but um hey we've got no choice Got no choice. Never going back.